Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney announced a gun buyback program as an effort to reduce violence in the city, but some research shows that these kinds of programs are not as effective as leaders might hope. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis joining us live with a look into the numbers. Ben, good evening. Hey there, Eric. Good evening. It is this very academic study that's putting a question mark on how effective Richmond's new gun buyback program may ultimately curb the city's scourge of gun violence. The mayor says it's just one component of his plan to combat the issue. Tonight, we're asking the question, how far might this program move the needle? The firearm, the gun. At the top of Richmond City Hall, a plan. Pay people to buy their guns. This is not the panacea, but just one strategy to remove firearms from the streets. After Mayor Stoney announced an incoming gun buyback program this week, 8 News started asking more questions. Would this actually work? We just didn't find much evidence of cities where it was particularly effective. Mark Anderson, a PhD at Montana State University, has closely studied gun buyback programs across the country, comparing 100 cities with buybacks to cities without. What his team found? Gun violence went down at most 1.3 percent in the first year in cities with a buyback program versus those without. That number grew to 2.3 percent when the buyback program extended beyond a year. Results that Anderson characterizes as modest. I think that if you were to offer a higher price, you're going to be getting more guns turned in. We are at the market level or above what a lot of other cities have done. Market level price? Not quite. New or even used guns can cost hundreds to thousands of dollars. Richmond is offering $250 for assault weapons, $200 for handguns, plus $150 for rifles and $25 for guns that don't work. And those payments are going to come in the form of gift cards to places like Amazon, Walmart, Kroger, and even Foot Locker. Now, while the study does analyze the success of gun buyback programs, there's also the question lingering out there that if those who are deciding to voluntarily sell those guns and hypothetically turn them into the city, if they're the ones who are most directed by gun violence. We've got more about this program and the story online at WRIC.com. Ben Dennis, 8 News, back to you.